Well, for many, using a wet wipe is a fast and easy way to get clean. However, plumbers say clearing clogged sewers and drains can often cost thousands of dollars. The issue is so bad in Utah that legislators are considering a new campaign to educate the public on the issue. Fox's Haley Higgins tells us more about the initiative. At the Central Davis Wastewater Treatment Facility in Kaysville, this is raw sewage. Flushed wet wipes get caught here. Then it gets dropped down into the tube and it goes to the dumpster. That is if they don't get clogged in a pipe first. There's been numerous times that we have found pumps that have been plugged up with wet wipes. Two weeks ago, this was pulled out from a pump station in Farmington. The price to fix it, $10,000. The cost goes way up when the clog doesn't even make it to a city pipe. It can cost a homeowner $30,000, $40,000 if it causes a backup into a home. To stop people from flushing wet wipes, Representative Carl Albrecht asked an appropriations committee for money to pay for a statewide education campaign. This request is a very crappy request, <laughs> but it's a, a very important and, and necessary one. He argues all wet wipes, even those labeled as flushable, are harmful to sewer infrastructure. There's not one wet wipe on the market that's biodegradable. The Responsible Flushing Alliance disagrees, arguing flushable wipes are not part of the problem. The group made up of the companies that make wet wipes says that paper towels make up the largest portion of clogging debris. Flushable wet wipes only account for 8%. But Jill Jones thinks that's a bunch of crap. I say if it's not pee, poo, or paper, it should be thrown in the trash. 